Yo, what is up everybody and welcome back to another NBA 2K15 My Career Game. Tonight might just be tonight. It's not just Game 5 of the NBA Finals. It is Game 5 where we have the 3-1 series lead as Dwight Howard is getting the alley-oop there. We are on the road, so if we do win the championship tonight, uh, there's going to be a little more than a little bit of boo birds out there, but... I mean, it doesn't really matter. An NBA championship is an NBA championship, whether we're winning in Chicago or Tokyo, all right? As um, Derek Rose misses that shot, but Joakim Noah is able to clean up the boards early on. But I did make my decision, man. No matter what happens tonight, whether we win this championship or not, I'm joining a new team next season as we get the nice bounce pass here to Terrence Jones, who finishes with the dunk on the fast break. But yeah, I'm not coming back to Houston. Even if we win the championship, and you know, we might try to go for the um, back to back as Derek Rose hits this fading shot here, rattling it in. I don't know, man. It's just, you know, you want that change of scenery. I'm not really too big of a fan playing with Dwight Howard. Harden's all right. You know, Harden has his cold games. But at the end of the day, you know, Harden's a pretty good teammate. I just, you know, a lot of James Harden's game is about isolation, which I don't really give him since I'm a ball-dominant point guard. I'm trying to, you know, make assists and stuff like that and get my own buckets. As Dwight Howard picks up the ball off the Denny Tice deal. And then, oh, my God. Really? I blew a freaking dunk? That's not how you win championships. But this is how you win championships. By going to the bench and doing nothing, because an 8-point lead turns into an 18-point lead. How about the bench mob, man? <laughs> that's that's how you win a championship. And right there, that might just be the turning point in the game. That might just be the dagger in the bulls right there. While I was on the bench. Normally, the bench is, you know, doing nothing as Denny Tice is doing a whole lot of something on Jimmy Butler there. But at that time, they might just clinch the championship for us, so... You know, what are we doing in the championship or not? Now, I figured you guys would like to see a change of scenery, too. You probably probably get bored of seeing um, Tyson Houston again next season as Pau Gasol in this shot here with the help defense on him at the start of the third quarter. So, yeah. Now, as far as what team I would join as we get the acrobatic and one over McDermott there, you know, there's two kind of teams you could join. There's the really bad team, like the 76ers, and you could try being the star player and you get a ton of shot attempts and, you know, try to will the team to victory. Or you could be the really good team and be like, oh, hey, you know, you ain't even got to do too much, you know? You get the easy way out or whatever it is, whatever people like to call it. Now, my way, it's not exactly the easy way out, but I like playing on a more stacked team than on a team that doesn't have too many good players like a 76ers or something like that. Reason being is that I am a pass first point guard as Jason Terry knocking down that three there. He's doing the jet. And that's the thing, man. This game was kind of the opposite of game three. We had a lot of contributors, including Terry again in the corner. And Terry's going to make this one splash too. But yeah, I, you know, being a pass first point guard, I like playing with players who can actually make shots. So um, don't criticize me for that. And if you do, oh well. That's just the way I like to play. That's the way I like to have fun. So, you know, a team like the Clippers or something like that. A team that, you know, I don't want to say stacked or that kind of thing. But just a team that has some options that could get to like a J.J. Redick. And um, they have Blake Griffin and stuff like that. Players that can get assists to. You know, that's the kind of team I'm looking for. Because I don't exactly have too much fun scoring like um, 30 a game off of 30 shot attempts or whatever the hell it is. You know, just chucking up everything I can. I just, I like, you know... Playing the natural point guard position, so, you know, that's what I'm looking for in free agency, so, um, if you think a team doesn't have too many good players, I'm probably not going to even consider it. Meanwhile, you know, who knows what team I could end up on as I make that description there, as Denny Tice lifting off. Now, as far as what team I would think about, you know, point guard obviously isn't too important since I am a point guard, and this, um... The starting point guard at the time is probably going to go to the bench, even if it's like Chris Paul or something like that. So you keep that in consideration. Shooting guard, you like to have a good shooting guard. I like playing with Harden, and I, I want, you know, a good shooting guard would be nice as well as small forward. Those are probably the two most important positions, and maybe power forward as well. Center is probably not too important. I learned that playing with Dwight Howard that having a good center or a great center is not that important as we're throwing up the lob to James Harden here. And this is the kind of night it was. Trevor Ariza, bang. Haha, <laughs> 15 point lead. And you know what? We're winning the championship tonight, all right? We are most definitely winning the championship. The clock is winding down Chicago Bulls season, and the clock is about to wind down to start off our celebration, and we are winning the 2015 championship in style. That's an excellent release to an excellent NBA Finals, and it's a very fitting end because Denny Tice is going to be your Finals MVP in his rookie season after missing the first few months. Just the way it goes. Just... The kind of special player Denny Tice is. So we can lift up Adrian here. Like, dang, that dude probably weighs a ton. Tice has been in the um, gym be able to do that. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to leave you guys with a ton of cutscenes here. There's going to be a ton of all-season cutscenes going on. You guys are going to see what's going on and who hits me up. Of course, you know, one of the um, players that hits me up is J.R. Smith of the New York Knicks. And me being a Knicks fan, I got to give the Knicks con some consideration. Even though they might just be the one bad team I consider since, you know... 
if they have a bad point guard situation, I'm a big Knicks fan. So we'll see how that goes. So I'll leave a like in this video if you enjoyed us winning the NBA Finals. Uh, subscribe for more man or um yeah man if you want in 2K15 and maybe you guys will see maybe you guys won't see in this video who or what team I play for next season. You just gotta stick around and uh yeah. Go just wanted to say I know there's been some ups and some downs in the season, but we came a long way, put in the work and did what was asked. Now look at you, a world freaking champ. That's right, man. Hey, thanks. I just can't believe it. We champs. Yeah, we immortals in the NBA forever, bro. That's awesome. Man, thanks for working out with me. A year ago, it would have never happened. Why you say that? You serious? You're the king of attitude. Hey, your attitude won't so great yourself. Maybe. I'm just glad our rookie season is behind us. Yeah, man, there's only so much garbage you can take from the vest, you know? Yeah. But now you got a big decision coming up. Where are you going to play? Where are you going to take the next step? Who knows, maybe we can team up in the future. Be a dynamic duo for sure. The future's wide open for both of us. Peace, bro. Nah, 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 man. I'm saying it's only a matter of time for my name is in the conversation. We talking about MVP player. Hey, hey, you know, hold up. Hey, man, I got to holler at you later. My agent over here tripping. I'll talk to you later. Peace. I think you might be getting a little ahead of yourself with that MVP talk. Man, what you talking about? What, I ain't good enough now? No, no. I'm just saying we need to do some digging, figure out where your game fits best. Now, take a look at this list, tell me what teams top your list, and I'll start making done some good work, but you haven't exactly set the league on fire this year. Man, if you're trying to say something, spit it out. All I'm saying is that we might have to accept an offer from a team farther down the list, a team more suited to your game, all right? I don't care how you spin it. As long as you spin it, I just want to ball and get paid. I need sharks. Sharks? Yeah, that's what we both want. Better close that mouth of yours unless you're trying to catch flies, little bro. I'm sorry, but why did you just walk through my door? You didn't even knock. All good, player. Just wanted to swing by to let you know we've been watching you, killing these fools left and right, lighting it up like the few rookies we've seen. Rumor has it, you've been watching us too. Might even want you to come join the club. Let me tell you, you sign with us, we're gonna do some special things this year. I'm talking ring, scoring titles, all-star game. Wanted to let you know, I'll do it. Hey man, you know, I like where your head's at. Me and you on the court together, that's an unreal combination. The league wouldn't stand a chance. So let's make it happen. I'm gonna call my agent right now. There he is, the man that's gonna help me build a contender. Oh, is that so? That's why he came over here? Listen up. I know he might not be your first choice in the open market, but let me drop some truth on you. You could go somewhere else, a team with a loaded roster, already built for championships, but let me tell you, there's only so much steak on the plate. What does it even mean? It means you're gonna be begging for scraps at the table, but if you come with us, we can build something special. You have every opportunity to get yours, right alongside me. Then we add another piece or two, and we'll have a contender of our own. What you think? I respect you and your game. You already know that, but this is a business, and I have to make the best decision for me and mine. Gotta take my time. I'm telling you what's best for you. It's always better to be a big fish in a little pond than a little guppy in a big old ocean. You hear me? I hear you. But I ain't no guppy, bro. I'm a shark. There's an awful lot of rumors swelling about you, man. Yeah? Is that so? What kind? The kind that says you're fixing to skip town and chase that money somewhere else. Hmm. People sure like to talk. Okay, but let me tell you something. You might think you'd be better off somewhere else, but there's something to be said for being home. You know the system, you know the coaches, your teammates. You stay with us. You can write your own ticket to this town. You feel me? I feel you, man. But I owe it to myself to test out these free Asian waters. If I don't find nothing out there, true, I'm going to be right back here to ball with you. You best hurry up. This here is the game of musical chairs. You don't want to be caught without a place to sit down.
All right. I've done my work. Now it's time for you to make some decisions for your future and mine. Because we're joined at the hip. Blood brothers, compatriots, thick as thieves, peas in a pod. Come on, man. Come on with all that. You know we ain't no brothers. Now tell me what's up. All right. I worked my tail off to get you a few offers to consider. Take a look. Tell me what you think. I want to play for the Warriors. Done and done, my man. Good choice. And this is just the beginning. You keep improving, the next time you come up for free agency, we're moving to another stratosphere. I'm talking Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, and beyond, Broheim. Me and you, all right? Now I'll get moving on that paperwork so we can ink this deal as quick as possible. Cool? Cool, man. Hurry up and get that done. The quicker I sign, the quicker I get paid. I got the GM on speed dial. I'll make the call for my car. Ciao.